there's no place in New York for extreme conservatives. That's the statement from Governor Cuomo as he was a guest on Capitol Press Room with Susan Arbetter this morning. Their problem is not me and the Democrats. Their problem is themselves. Who are they? Are they these extreme conservatives who are right to life, a pro-assault weapon, anti-gay? Is that who they are? Because if that's who they are, and if they are the extreme conservatives, they have no place in the state of New York. Well, that comment creating quite the controversy. Craig Smith is live in our studio tonight. Craig, I know Democrats may like it. Republicans may as well. They see this maybe as the governor giving them some ammunition. Now, one Republican in the assembly, Jim Tedisco, thinks it'll help whatever challenger might come along. We called Tedisco tonight, and we met him at an event in Niskayuna. The last time I checked, there's a Statue of Liberty in the city in New York who stands there shining bright but doesn't say, we only welcome liberals and progressives and people who think like this governor. We welcome everybody to the state of New York. And that's why this state is great, because of its diversity. It really strikes him. Maybe he's been reading the book 1984. Big Brother will tell you how to think and what to think. CBS 6 political analyst Fred Dicker is also the New York Post state editor. He told our Liz Bishop he found the comments amazing and stunning. Can you imagine if he had said people who believe in gay marriage, who support choice on abortion, who are against gun ownership, don't belong in the state of New York? The criticisms the governor would get from his fellow Democrats and the left? This isn't about uh, what, you know, individual beliefs, whether they're extreme or not. These are mainstream views that a lot of New Yorkers just don't agree with the governor on. They may not be in a majority, but this country is about tolerance of dissent, of respect for differing views. Asked for a comment, State Senator Kathy Marchione issued a statement saying, in part, Governor Cuomo is the governor of all New Yorkers, not just those who agree with him. It's important for him to remember that. And I guess that's what he... A governor looks like if he's got $33 million in the bank and he just doesn't care who he insults or what he says. Of course, there's no shortage of comments online tonight. There's no sign yet that the governor is going to say anything about his own comments. Craig Smith, CBS 6 News.